had sushi, and it was awesome. We ate a lot of the sushi, a whole lot of sushi, but there was a reason for that. You know what today is? I know what not, today Well, is. not her, you guys. Today's our two year anniversary. We've been married for two years, and then after we finished eating, we came down here on the beach, and this is actually the same spot that we got married two years ago. And if you saw the vlog, which is a day number that I don't remember, uh, you'll remember that it was actually right here. We came down there, and then we were in this general vicinity. This thing was not there, because that is a eyesore. There's a lot of people out right now. What time? It's it's like 8.30ish. When did we get married? Like 6? I think like 5 or 6. Yeah, there were I'm, a lot more people here when we got married. Yeah. It's nice. It just feels good today. It's a good day for an anniversary. Okay. Anyway, we're going to walk the beach a little bit. Reminisce. And just enjoy our time together. No work today. I really did all my work for today, so we don't have to do anything. So we just can kind of enjoy each other's company. Ready to go? <laughs> After the beach, we stopped by my parents' house, who uh, had given us a card and also a little cake for our anniversary, which was very sweet. We still have the cake over there. We haven't started eating it. And then we decided we wanted to watch a movie, but we weren't sure what. So we got on the old Netflix and looked around and decided on uh, Cabin in the Woods. Amazing. I mean, such, such a, a, a good film. Um, it's... It's funny because it's a play on horror movies. horror movies, and then it just keeps twisting and twisting and twisting, and you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on, and then it's just, it ends up being, you know, absolutely over the top and ridiculous, and it's it's just a wild good ride. It's a horror film, but um, it's, it's really hard to tack it down to, like, it's a horror, but it's not like... I, Mal enjoyed it. Yes. Because Mal doesn't really like horror films. She doesn't really like being scared. And I knew a little about the film. And I was like, we should watch this one. You'll you'll like this. So I got to see it for the first time. She got to see it for the first time. But it was amazing. If you have not seen that film, you should watch it. Because it's it's just so... It's so much fun. It's such a... It's so fun. Especially because, um, you know, you're, you continually are trying to figure it out. It's, you know, straight up a conventional... Um, you know, cliche horror film, and then there's this extra stuff in there where you're like, what? You know, you're trying to figure it out. It's great. It was great. It was just a lot of fun. Um, anyway, uh, should we have the cake? Do, I could have a little bit, but not a whole lot. Just a little small, small piece of the cake. Cake! It is such a cute little cake. That is not a cake for two. No, they said. That. I told my parents. I said, you know, I really appreciate you doing this, and if you want, we could just cut it up and eat it right now while we were over there. And they're like, no, it's a cake for two. And I'm like, that's it's a, a cake for cake. two. Like that much cake is for one person. <laughs> it's a cake for four, but uh, maybe it's a cake for two, two times. Also, um, since it's not terribly late, I think we might watch another uh, movie. Uh, Mal wanted to see a doc, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with docs all the time. It's called uh, Jiro Dreams of Sushi, a documentary profiling sushi chef Jiro Ono, an 85-year-old master whose 10-seat, $300 a plate restaurant is legendary among Tokyo foodies. I'm cool with that. Plus, we ate sushi tonight. Uh, we can watch that while we have some of the delicious cake. 82 minutes later, that was good. That was good. It was... Um, some of the best food porn I think I've ever seen. I mean, there was the cinematography was beautiful, sushi is beautiful, and um, when you're combining those things, it's just, I don't know, there were some breathtaking shots. And it was also an interesting story. To be honest, I was a little, I was kind of confused how they were gonna make a 82 minute. Doc about sushi? Yeah. And then they did. Um, to be honest, the most interesting part of the film for me which, I, I mean, it was interest. the whole thing was great, but um, the fish market. Yes. The fish market. Right. Seeing the Japanese fish market uh -huh. was, like, the most exciting thing. To see all of the fish laying out and then um, how they choose it and, 
and the dealers that um, these people go through. I don't know, it was very entertaining. I liked it. So if you guys get the chance, Jiro Dreams of Sushi and also Cabin in, in the Woods on Netflix. What was that? They were good. I yeah. had a good afternoon slash evening. It's 2.30. Yeah. Well, we got a late start, but it was a good anniversary. Happy anniversary, by the way. Happy anniversary. I mean, I've said that before. Just This is on camera for two years. May there be at least two more. More than two. May there, may there be 200 more. I don't think we'll be alive. Okay, well... I'm optimistic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll just end it here. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? The aphids won. There were so many. There were too ones. many. There like, were like they were coated on the stones. There were basically hundreds of them, so uh, we got rid of them. I'm sorry, I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. You know, at least I apologize before I kill him. <laughs>